iPhone 8 might currently be one of the best cheap phones that you can currently purchase. Not only it still looks pretty good, it's very very compact size which I really like and the performance actually is still acceptable on this phone. Also it has got iOS 16, it doesn't have the latest 17 but to be honest it's still very smooth and capable and still getting some security updates so nothing to really scoff about. So I paid uh, only 30 euros for this phone, which is the same 30 dollars basically. And for that price you're getting very very nice build quality. And as you see, mine is still in very good condition. Considering I only paid 30 bucks for this phone, yeah, you can't really find a better phone for that price. When you compare to a bit newer iPhone, such as XS, uh, which is like two years newer, you can see just how different they are in design. However, performance-wise, uh, they're pretty much identical. Uh, they, this iPhone XS has got uh, double the RAM, however, the iPhone 8 still, from my experience, is just as smooth as this one, with two times less RAM. So, yeah, very, very good performance phone. And the CPU of this uh, phone also is still acceptable, even today. Of course, it doesn't look as modern and as nice as the newer iPhones and you get absolutely huge bezels here. So yeah, but anyway, you can't purchase the iPhone XS for 30 bucks. You have to at least spend at least double that, uh, maybe even triple the price. So performance wise, these are pretty much almost identical uh, from my everyday usage. Uh, just even using basic apps and stuff like that. Also, the cameras are aren't that worse than the, on the newer ones as well. And actually, uh, when it comes to the cameras, uh, when you compare this iPhone 8 to a modern smartphone that was just released, uh, I mean, when you compare to a low-end uh, smartphone that costs maybe $150 or $200, the cameras basically on the iPhone 8 are still better than on the new budget phones. So yeah, that's something to think about it uh, because the cameras on this $30 iPhone 8 are much better than on this almost $200 uh, budget phone basically that's released just now. So the cameras actually was very impressed. And also in the video you get a 4K uh, video recording ability. And when you basically compare to modern smartphone, the size is so much better and nicer to hold. It's such a nice tiny phone, actually, if you prefer tiny phones. Whereas these big ones, yeah, they're better screens, obviously, but this is so much better to use, actually. And I prefer this one over any modern phone, basically, simply because of that compact size. The only thing that I don't really like about this iPhone 8 is the battery. Uh, by default, it doesn't have a very huge battery when compared to a modern smartphone. It has got only around a bit over 2000 milliamp battery and that completely sucks. Especially if you use uh, your data and actually use this phone for some stuff, the battery runs out so fast. And also, since it's a quite an old phone, the battery life has degraded also quite a bit. But it's uh, mostly due to it having a very small, tiny battery. That way it kind of sucks. But apart from the terrible battery life on this phone, I think the phone itself is very good. And yeah, especially for the price, you can't really beat it. However, personally, if uh, you have a bit uh, higher budget, I would suggest to get the iPhone XS or maybe the regular X as well. But the XS is probably the best bang for the phone you can currently get. It's still very cheap, but you get insanely good uh, performance on it and also very good modern design. And it's the most premium uh, iPhone that I probably have ever seen. So also it has got double the RAM over the iPhone 8 and it's uh, obviously a bit faster and smoother and the screen quality is much nicer on the iPhone XS and yeah it's a completely different phone but again uh, I paid for this iPhone XS um, I think around uh, 45 euros but mine came with a cracked back so the normal price I think I have seen them go for uh, is around uh, maybe maybe around 70 or 80 dollars you can start finding some 
um, and yeah that's almost double of this one or even more but still if you got that extra bit of money i really suggest to look for iphone 10s because that's really the most bang for the buck phone you can currently purchase and the screen and the design is so much nicer on it but performance wise if you're just using basic tasks and um, maybe your email whatsapp or uh, just checking news the performance of the iphone 8 is still very good and it's actually comparable to the both uh, on both phones basically so yeah if you can get this iphone 8 for very cheap price and the battery health is still uh, fairly good i can highly suggest this phone because it's really e easily one of my favorite phones because just how small it is and just how smooth it is also in just how cheap it is anyway if this was helpful make sure to hit the like button see you